Good morning to all of you. Last class we have seen NCRT numericals from exercise for concave and convex mirror. So today we are going to uh, explain refraction, refraction of light. When light travels from one transparent medium to the other transparent medium, for example, air to water, air to glass, water to glass, etc. So when light travels from one transparent medium to the other, a part of light is reflected back into the same medium, obeying the laws of reflection and the remaining part is refracted, mean passes through the second medium. So when a light travels from one medium and reaches the interface between the first and second medium and if the light comes obliquely, that means makes an angle with the normal oblique incidence, then it changes its path when it is going to the second medium. So this phenomena we call it as refraction. The change in the path of light especially we say obliquely instant light when it goes from one medium to the other transparent medium. So this phenomenon we recall it as refraction of light. During refraction of light there will be change in the velocity of light, there will be change in the wavelength but there will be no change in the frequency. So this is a very important point. So during refraction, frequency remains constant. Velocity will change because it is going to the next second medium and wavelength also will change. Whereas the frequency remain constant, why frequency remain constant, you will see in higher classes. So different types of mediums are there. Light can travel from water to air. Light can travel from air to glass, air to water, different different of mediums are there. So we will go for the diagrams for that, when light travels from air to water, air medium we call it as a rare medium and water we call it as a denser medium. When light travels from air to glass, then air is a rare medium, glass is a denser medium. How we recognize which medium is rarer and denser etc, we will see along with the diagrams, okay. Yes, we will see the screen. So refraction of light means it is the phenomenon of change in the path of light that you have to remember it is a change in the path of light when light enters obliquely, obliquely means making an angle from one medium to the other. So when a beam of light reaches another transparent medium, a part of light gets reflected back into the first medium while the rest enters the other. So the direction of propagation of an obliquely incident light okay, that enters the other medium changes at the interface. So this phenomenon is called as refraction of light. So during refraction velocity changes, wavelength changes but frequency remains constant. Frequency remains constant. So take care of this definition. So the direction of propagation of an obliquely incident ray of light that enters the other medium changes, change in the path of light when it goes from one medium to the other medium at the interface that is known as refraction. So generally when we see a medium here, so during refraction of light it is change in the path of light when it goes from one medium to the other medium, okay. And velocity will change, there will be change in velocity, there will be change in wavelength, but frequency remains constant, frequency remains constant. We know the relation involving them C equal to nu lambda, 
velocity is given by c equal to nu lambda so change in the path of light when it enters obliquely oblique incidence the word you can write obliquely we'll see that what is oblique incidence suppose we are taking two medium here this is air medium and this is water so you take a point here you can make a normal perpendicular is drawn this is normal light travels here in this way this is called oblique incidence this is incident ray and angle between incident ray and normal we call it as angle of incidence so angle of incidence is angle between incident ray and the normal this is the point so this red line stands for the separating surface between air and water now what will happen to this ray so it is going from air to water changes its path how it changes so it is a water is a denser medium air is a rarer medium why because light travel faster in air and velocity of water will be less so in that way we recognize which is denser and which is rarer so that is the easiest way so which if light finds difficulty to move or if its velocity is less in a medium we say that that medium is denser compared to the other medium so this light ray bends toward the normal here this the bends toward the normal so this ray we call it a refracted ray refra and this angle is known as angle between the normal and refracted ray we call it as angle of refraction so what is the initial direction of light initial direction of light is this this is the initial direction of light so this is an oblique incident ray and this if you continue this it goes like this but when it reaches here bends toward the normal change its path so it is changing its path in this way changes its path at the same time there will be some part of the light will be reflected back by obeying the reflections so this is uh, some part of the light will be reflected also and the remaining is passing through the next medium so there will be change in the path this phenomenon we call it as refraction of light so i repeat what is the meaning of refraction of light it is the phenomenon of change in the path of light so all should learn this change okay change in the path of light change in the path of light when it enters obliquely you can see that from one medium to the other medium you can see that the interface here this is an obliquely incident ray reaches the interface between air and water air we recognize as a rarer medium because velocity of a faster water velocity of velocity of light is less there so it is recognized denser medium so when it goes velocity decreases so the refracted ray bends toward the normal so this is the initial direction of incident ray it cannot go in this way it changes its path in this way so in this case you can see refracted angle of refraction is less than angle of incidence it is a rarer to denser refraction rarer to denser refraction so some part of light is reflected we are not interested in the reflected light that part is already over so we discuss mainly refracted light suppose light travels from water to air water velocity finds difficulty restricted velocity is less but when it goes to air it's it's free to move okay so its velocity is faster so it will be denser to air that also i am going to mark next one suppose if it is moving from light is traveling from water and water to air so water will recognize as a denser medium and air we recognize as a rarer medium okay you can make the normal at any point this normal is made and this is your uh, incident ray this is incident ray ir it makes angle i with the normal incident ray angle between incident ray and the normal is known as angle of incidence okay so it's a denser medium the velocity of light is less there are restrictions 
but when it is coming to air it is very free so it goes away from the normal very free if it is very free goes away far away from the normal so it goes in this way going away from the normal going away from the normal and this is a refracted ray and the angle between refracted ray and the normal you know r and what is the initial direction initial direction of incident ray is this this is the initial direction so from incident uh, initial in incident ray direction it deviates it changes its path so in this case angle of refraction is greater than angle of incidence so you have to recognize these points so two refractions diagrams are there in figure 1 first diagram this is a figure 1 and this is figure 2 in figure 1 what do you see is a refraction from air to water air is a rare medium and water is a denser medium how you recognize which is denser and rare that we calculate we recognize by using uh, recognizing the speed of light the speed of light in a medium is less that medium is considered as denser because it gives more opposition to the light oblique incident ray it is the initial direction bends toward the normal because velocity decreases here it is water to air when it comes here velocity increases going away so when it velocity increases goes away from the normal when velocity decreases comes toward the normal so two refractions we mark there one is from rarer to denser in figure 1 and denser to rarer in figure 2 so change in the path of light when it and thus obliquely why we use the term obliquely otherwise what will happen if a light is traveling straight just see here if a light is here this is the air medium this is a water medium so this is the normal instead of light is coming along the normal it will not bend anyway it will not change its path it straight away goes yes it's a normal if the light ray goes along the normal air to water it goes straight itself there will be no change that is the difference we say oblique incident it should make some angle with normal and what are the factors that remains constant during refraction very important point only one parameter remains constant that is the frequency why it remains constant you will learn in higher classes other two things changes velocity will change and wavelength will change okay so you have to remember the point this now we go for loss of refraction of light next point loss of refraction loss of refraction first one is you can see diagram again here as so i am drawing from air to water air is rare medium what is denser medium oblique ray this is oblique incidence to the point normal is this angle of incidence this is incident ray bends toward the normal coming to the nor pass me so this angle is known as angle of refraction r is less than i and this is the initial direction yeah bends toward the normal so there are two laws first one we say that you here you can see incident ray incident ray normal refracted ray all lie in the same plane plane of the paper or plane of the board plane of the screen exactly similar to that of reflection there is no change so first one is your incident ray we write r i r normal and refracted ray all lie in the same plane all lie in the same plane plane of the paper plane of the board incident ray normal and refracted ray all lie in the same plane same plane second one we call it as snell's law of refraction it is very important what is snell's law of refraction very important snell's law of refraction means you measure this angle sign i this is a r the ratio of these two things the ratio of sine of angle of incidence okay sin theta 
cos theta you are all familiar with sin theta how you know how to find out sin theta tan theta from a triangle you know properties of sin theta cos theta how to calculate instead of theta we will write it here i sin i that is sin of angle of incidence upon sin of angle of refraction i can be 30 degree r can be some other value where you take the ratio sin i by sin r you know the different values of sin 30 what is sin 30 you know the value what is sin 60 so similarly here any angle can be the sin i upon sin i the ratio of the sin of angle of incidence to to mean divide by sin of angle of refraction is a constant for a given pair of media and which is called refractive index okay this is called refractive index and i write this as of second medium with this first one this is called refractive index it's a term we are introducing refractive index of second medium with respect to first medium this is called snell's law refraction so what is snell's law refraction is defined as sine of angle of incidence sine of angle of incidence upon sine of angle of refraction is a constant for a given pair of media and that constant is represented by n to 1 first medium is here this is the medium number 1 and this is medium number 2 and we write it as n to 1 and this is known as refractive index of second medium with respect to first it's a constant for a given pair of media and this is known as snell's law refraction snell's law refraction so it's a very important one state lens uh, snell's law refraction i write the equation correspondingly and so what is the meaning of actually when you introduce a term here what is the meaning of refractive index what is this meaning refractive index it's a term you can uh, use for optical density of the medium or you can see that the extent of the change in the direction of light that takes place in a given pair of media that can be expressed in terms of refractive index up to what extent it changes its path bends toward the normal or away from the normal that can be expressed in terms of the refractive index or that also represent how fast or how slow the light can travel in a particular medium so it's a term refractive index that gives you different parameters when light travels from one medium transparent medium to the other transparent medium of course there will be change in the path of light it can come toward the normal we say that bends toward the normal it can go away from the normal we say that bends away from the normal so the extent of the change in direction that takes place in a given pair of media that may be expressed in terms of refractive index that is a constant and we call this as n to 1 refractive index of second medium with respect to first medium and we can represent this refractive index in terms of velocity of light too okay suppose light is traveling here with the velocity v1 first medium velocity of light is v1 and in the second medium velocity of light is v2 first medium velocity of light is given as v1 second medium velocity of light is given as v2 so refractive index of second medium n to 1 this can also be written as the speed of or velocity of light in the first medium velocity of light in first medium divided by velocity of light in the second medium this is also a very important one so refractive index is a constant for a pair of media this can also be related to the velocity velocity of light in the first medium upon velocity of light in the second medium so we write this as n to 1 is equal to v1 divided by v2 another very important relation so it represents some light travels from rarer to denser air medium is a rarer medium water is a denser medium when it, light travels from 
air to water. What will happen? The velocity increases or decreases? Velocity decreases. So, when light travels from rare to denser, the velocity of light decreases. When light travels from denser to rarer, velocity increases. So, how this is related? N21 equal to V1 by V2. It's a very important term. So, two equations are in front of you. One is here, that is by Snell's law, it relates angle, angle of incidence and angle of refraction, I and R. I think you remember when light travels from rarer to denser, angle of refraction is less than angle of incidence. In the previous diagram we have seen. And when light travels from denser to rarer, then angle of refraction is greater than angle of incidence. So, sin i by sin r equal to n to 1, which is known as Snell's law. So, it's a refract index. It's a term used to represent up to what extent the light ray changes path. It represents how fast or how slow light can travel in a particular medium. Or you can also say that optical density of the medium. Which one will oppose the light more effectively? If your opposition is more, velocity will be less. So, that medium will be more and more denser. So, this is the way how will you compare. So, n to 1 equal to v1 by v2 velocity of light in the first medium upon velocity of light in the second medium. Next, very important point I want to just give. What is the unit of refractive index? Unit. Refractive index is a ratio of sin i upon sin r. So, there will be no unit. It's a number. It's a ratio of velocities v1 by v2. So, refractive index n to 1, okay, and it has no unit, no unit. It's a ratio of the same two quantities, velocity upon velocity, unit cancel. So, it has no unit, very important point. It is represented by the letter n to 1 or simply n, B. you can use it, okay, but no unit. Next, one more point I am adding. What is the absolute refractive index? Absolute refractive index. Absolute refractive index means if the first medium is air, air medium or vacuum. Okay. First medium is air or vacuum. What is the speciality of air or vacuum? Because air or vacuum, the velocity of light is 3 in 10 to the power of 8 meter per second. That is the maximum value. So we take it as air or vacuum. Error vacuum, velocity of light C is equal to 3 in turn of the order of 8 meter per second. The velocity nearly equal, so we take it as for practical purpose equal value. V A C U U M vacuum. <coughs> vacuum spelling is V A C U U M. Okay, this is the vacuum spelling. V A only one C. Double U are the U U M. So the medium air or vacuum velocity of light is uh, we take it as same value. It is three hundred or eight meter per second. This is the maximum velocity of light post. This is the maximum velocity. So if the first medium, the first medium we are recognizing it as air medium or vacuum, air or vacuum. The first medium is air or vacuum, and second medium can be anything. Then the refractive index, what we calculate, it is known as absolute refractive index. Absolute refractive index. Absolute refractive index. So n to 1 is equal to velocity of light in the first medium, it is air. Velocity of light in air or vacuum, which is of same value 3 into the rate, also to remember, divided by velocity of light in the second medium okay in the second medium so this equation will write it as n to 1 velocity of light in air or vacuum usually we represent by letter c velocity of light in the second medium we write it as v this is the common equation n to 1 is equal to c by v or simply we write as n equal to c upon v 
and whenever you write n it is a refract index of denser medium with respect to rare medium it is c upon v very important relation so this equation you can calculate what will be the velocity of light in a particular medium so velocity of light in a particular medium can be calculated in this n equal to c upon v okay so particular case so light travels from air to water what will be the velocity of light in water we can calculate by using this equation providing you know the refract index of water with respect to air some examples i am going to give here so next point so refract this is called absolute refract index n is equal to c upon v first medium is air or vacuum our second medium is any medium denser medium so any medium you can take n equal to c upon v where the value of c all should remember it is 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second that you have to remember okay what are the refractive indexes index of water with respect to air common and uh, glass with respect to air suppose light travels from air to water refractive index is 4 by 3 this is 1.33 you have to learn this Suppose uh, light travels from air to glass. Refract index is 3 by 2, that is 1.5. So, at least you have to remember these two values. Refract index of water with respect to air is 1.33 or 4 by 3. Refract index of glass with respect to air is 3 by 2, 1.5. So, I am writing three medias here. One is air is one there, then water, then glass. Out of these three, in which medium the velocity of light will be minimum? So, greater the refractive index, greater the opposition. Greater the refractive index, greater the opposition. For water, it is 1.33. Glass, it is 1.5. So, when light travels from air to glass, the velocity will be minimum. So, glass, the velocity will be minimum. V is minimum in the glass because greater the refractive index, then velocity will be minimum. So, when refractive increases, velocity of light in that medium decreases. Remember this point. N equal to C upon V. So, if as a numerical from NCRT here, I am discussing numerical from NCRT. Suppose light travels from air to water. What is the velocity of light in water? What is the velocity of light in water? Light in water. Equation is n equal to c upon v and v is equal to c by n. Value of C is known to you as 3 in 10 to the power of 8 and N, refract index, it is 4 by 3. Okay, it is 4 by 3, refract index of water with respect to air. We write like this, is equal to 4 by 3, that is equal to 1.33. So, this is equal to 9 upon 4 into 10 to the power of 8 meter per second. So, what will be this value? So, this is the way how to calculate. So, refractive index of water with respect to air is 4 by 3, that value you have to remember. 1.33, that is equal to 4 by 3, value you have to remember. And uh, the value will be equal to, you can calculate the value 9 by 4 equal to 2.25 is equal to 2.25 into 10 to the power of 8 meter per second. Value is very less, 2.25. In air, the value is 3 into the power of 8. Now, in water, the velocity will be less, 2.25. Velocity of light decreases. Similarly, you can also calculate what will be the velocity of light in glass in the same way. Okay, that also you do this. You can complete yourself. Numerical number 2, air to glass, air to glass, 
suppose air to glass what is the velocity of light in glass you can calculate the value as a numerical number 2 all of you can calculate again same equation n equal to c upon v v equal to c by n 3 10 to 8 now what are the things you have to change here instead of 4 by 3 so here you have to write what will be the changes are here so n equal to 3 by 2 that is equal to 1 1.5 this is a refract index of glass with respect to n so this is n to 1 we write so here n we write it as 3 by 2 So you are getting it as value will be equal to 6 by 3 into 10 to the power of 8 meter per second that is equal to 2 into 10 to the power of 8 meter per second. So you can see in glass again the velocity is less that in less than that in water. In water it was it is 2.25 now in glass it is 2 again decreases. So as refractive in index increases the velocity of light decreases. So these are the different points in this section. So refraction means change in the path of light when it goes from one transparent medium to the other. Rarer to denser, you can recognize different medium, air, water, glass. In the glass, velocity will be very, very less in comparison with air. Also in water, if you compare with water, also we say that it is less. Velocity of light is minimum in glass. So when you take air and water, water is denser medium. When you consider air and glass, glass is denser. When you consider water and glass, can you tell me which is denser? If light travels from water to glass, of course, light can travel from water to glass. Then we say that glass is denser than water. Glass will be a denser medium. It's a very important point, okay? So, as a, you can mark as a note, water to glass, when light travels from water to glass, will the velocity increase or decrease? Again, decreases because water will be acting as a rarer medium, glass will be acting as a denser medium. Some other points we'll explain in the next class. So this is about the refractive index. You have to define the refractive index by Snell's law and in terms of velocity and see the numerical also. So this is recognized as an optical density or the extent. Refractive index means the extent of the change Okay, that actually takes place in a given pair of media. That can be expressed in terms of refractive index. The extent of the change in the direction, change in the path. So that can be expressed by this. Velocity can be recognized by this term, refractive index. And remember, it has no unit, it's number just like a 4 by 3, 3 by 2, etc. Other points will continue in the next class. So necessary diagrams, all of you should make in the copy. Thank you.